submarines. They're basically the ninjas of the sea. These stealthy giants first made a splash in World War I, swiftly becoming the must-have accessory for any advanced navy. Fast forward a bit, and submarines are the Swiss army knives of the ocean. Whether it's playing hide and seek with enemy ships, eavesdropping on underwater gossip, or sending sneaky torpedoes to surprise parties, submarines do it all. Hello and welcome to Oceanus. Let's time travel back to the start. The idea of the submarine has been floating around since 332 BC with Alexander the Great. History references mention the use of a diving bell as a means to go into the sea in a glass barrel because he wanted to study fish. Now, put yourself in 1620. Cornelis Drebbel built arguably the first functional submarine. His construction included oars to steer, which allowed his submarine to achieve propulsions. His designs were even tested on the River Thames. By the time of the American Revolutionary War, the Turtle became the first submarine to attack an enemy ship, even though the attack wasn't successful. By the mid-20th century, submarines evolved into underwater superheroes. Oh, and they're basically nuclear powerhouses, holding about 55% of the Navy's most potent weaponry. But they also contribute to modern global communication that relies heavily on submarine cables laid on the ocean floor. These cables carry internet and telephone traffic between continents. Submarines play the ultimate stealth game. Think of them as the ocean's version of a magician, disappearing beneath the waves with a swish of their cloak, or hull in this case. So how do they pull off this vanishing act? It's all in the design and the gadgets. Picture a submarine as a giant metal sea cucumber, split into different sections, each with a cool party trick. The hull. It's like a super strong bubble wrap, keeping everything cozy and dry no matter how deep they dive. And the conning tower is basically the submarine's periscope eyes, peeking at the world above without getting its whole head wet. Gone are the days of the classic periscope in modern submarines. They've upgraded to the cool photonics mast, a high-tech gadget packed with sensors and cameras, letting submariners see above the waves without needing to poke the periscope up. Now the real magic happens in the engine room. Submarines come in two flavors, diesel electric and nuclear. The diesel electric ones are like hybrid cars, using diesel on the surface and switching to batteries underwater for that silent sneak mode. Nuclear subs, though, are the rock stars with their nuclear reactors, rocking out underwater for months without needing a break. The United States Navy has not one, not two, but three types of submarines. First up, we've got the ballistic missile submarines, the heavyweights of the aquatic world. Their main gig is to transport and deploy submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs, many of which are nuclear-armed. Next in the lineup, we've got the James Bond of the ocean, our attack submarines, the underwater mischief makers. These bad boys have a whole arsenal of tricks up their sleeves, from sinking ships and subs to launching cruise missiles. Last but not least, we have the cruise missile submarines, the party boats of the submarine world. Cruise missile submarines perform many of the same missions as attack submarines, but with a focus on their ability to carry and launch larger quantities of cruise missiles than typical attack submarines. When a submarine wants to play hide and seek, it uses its ballast tanks like inflatable arm floaties. Fill them with water and down it goes. Want to come back up? Just blow the water out and it's like popping a cork in a bathtub. Yup, submarines are the ocean's coolest, sneakiest, and most advanced residents. Welcome to the secret, high-tech world of submarines. These underwater marvels are not just giant metal fish. They're floating arsenals ready for action. Let's dive into their weaponry, shall we? Torpedoes are the rock stars of the submarine weapon lineup. These underwater missiles serve as a key offensive weapon designed for precision and power. Submarines can launch these bad boys from their bow or stern. Engineered to track and destroy enemy vessels, torpedoes have evolved significantly over the years, now featuring advanced guidance systems and increased range. Their presence underscores the strategic capabilities of submarines in naval warfare, making them a critical component in maritime defense strategies. Now let's get real. 
In wartime, submarines are like the chess masters of the ocean. They sneak around, gathering intel, keeping an eye on things, and occasionally springing surprises on the enemy. And those nuclear-powered boomers? They're like the guardians of the deep, silently patrolling and ready to respond to threats. But life inside these steel beasts, it's not all about weapons and warfare. Living in a submarine isn't your average 9-to-5 job. Think of it as living in a space station but underwater. Space is tight, privacy is scarce, and everyone's really close, literally. Fun fact, crew members on a submarine have no day and night cycle as there are no windows to let in natural light. Submarines use artificial light and often follow a structured schedule to simulate a typical 24-hour day. It's a world where teamwork isn't just a nice idea, it's a way of life. But thanks to some nifty tech, these underwater wonders can host a small town's worth of submariners, all sharing sea shanties and the one dream, keeping the seas safe and sound. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the fascinating, secretive world of submarines. From their incredible firepower to the unique lifestyle of their crews, these underwater warriors are a testament to human ingenuity and teamwork. If you're thrilled by this deep sea journey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time for another great adventure.